you know, a great game, um, great atmosphere. I told the guys after the Davidson game, I don't know if we could get better, but today got better. And it was always great to um, to beat a team um, of that caliber in the Rally Center. We haven't played um, as well as we've accustomed to playing at home, um, especially in the last couple of games. But I thought our guys really responded. Um, you know, coming off of, of Davidson and having the travel problems that we had getting back, and on Thursday having you know less than 48 hours to get ready for our, our team like VCU, I thought. You know, it spoke volumes about our guys and their work ethic and their, their mentality and character. Um, and, and, you know, we didn't play perfect basketball today, um, but we executed um, when we needed to, uh, and we played extremely hard. And proud of our effort, um, we found a way. And, um, and that's what it takes. And, um, you know, our guys really responded. Anytime VCU made a run, we responded. Um, so they did, so did, uh, did they. Um, but it was just a, a great win for us, you know, be able to be the nationally ranked team at, at home um, is, is a tribute to our guys. So really proud of our effort and proud of um, how we competed. Marcus, can you describe the last play? I mean, I really don't know how to describe it. I mean, it was just to the point where <laughs> you just, you know, Jalen had trust in you. So, um, I just called off the screen for a little bit, and uh, I just had a, I was able to get to the basket a little bit, and I had a clean look, so I the ball in It looked like you were, or I mean, I thought you might be pulling up. Did you, was it, were you thinking you were going to drive it all the way, or what I was, how did that work? I thought about pulling up, but, um, you know, just like did a little stutter step, and I seen he didn't really bite for it, and he came up, so I just, you know, attacked the basket and was able to get a clean look. On that, you know, when that you get the ball, was any thought of Davidson uh, in your head? No, not at all. Just, just get a bucket. Man. Yeah, Marcus, what you were able to do at the end of the Duquesne game in regulation, and then Davidson the other night, and then this one today, what is in you? I guess that's allowed you to make these kinds of plays in the biggest of uh, moments and the clutchest of moments at the end of games. It's just I mean, the same thing that you need, and the rest of the guys, we all have that competitive nature, and we just, you know, just want to get better every day. And, you know, we have opportunities like this, and, you know, Coach always tells us, you know, you just have to you know, take advantage of these type of opportunities. So, um, we're just blessed to be in this position. Mark, what can you say about the way Jay and the whole team handled their pressure? They handled really well. Going into the game, one of the main um, um, keys to, to winning was to keep our uh, turnovers below 12. And um, we handled it, you know, really well. Uh, you know, with a freshman point guard having seven assists and two turnovers against that pressure uh, says a lot about his game. Um, but I, I thought we handled, you know, 17 assists, nine turnovers. I would take that against any team in the Atlantic 10. Um, you know, I just think, you know, from, from a team perspective, we, you know, we shared the ball, we attacked it with some intelligence. Um, you know, and I, I thought Denzel Gregg had a big impact on this game. I, I, you know. I think we lose sight, you know, Marcus hits a big shot, and but Denzel had a big, big part. In order for us to, to compete and win in the Atlantic 10, you need those role guys, those guys coming off the bench. And I thought Denzel was, you know, everybody's going to have their day in the sun, but I, I thought he really did a really good job of, um, of, you know, coming off the bench and being productive. Especially if they're so deep. I mean, you know, kind of when you think of the whole yeah, thing they, about you know, how you got to give guys a little bit of blow here. Yeah, they, they come after you in waves. Um, you know, we knew that. But, I, you know, our guys are, I think, in very good shape. And they played, uh, you know, a lot of minutes. I don't think they're, I think they're accustomed to that. Hey, Mark, uh, are you able at all, because the game is so heated, I mean, that was a yeah. war out there. Uh -huh. Are you, even for a brief second, are you able to say, this is a friggin' great game? Yeah. I mean, this is an unbelievable yeah. game. This is the best game I've seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah you know, as a coach, yeah, you, you can you can feel it, you know, and, you, and there's a lot of you know thinking going on too. But at the same time, you know, there, there's some some quiet moments, I guess, where you look and you see the crowd, and you know, and it's yeah, it's a great atmosphere, and you know, two teams really battling each other, and you know, two teams with with you know with unselfish guys, and two teams I think play the game the right way. Um, yeah, it was to me, it's it's fun to coach in a game like this. What, what does it do for you? Uh, Confidence-wise, and your team, 
when in this league it seems like there there's so many teams beating up on each other. Like if you lose, you don't have much time to no. to mold. <laughs> no. And if you win, I mean you you still don't have time. Can eat. Yeah, it's like it, that's why the the league is so good. It's like on any given night, if you don't play your best, you're gonna lose. And you know we've told these guys from day one. You know when when the Atlantic Ten season started, it's everything is is amped up. You know it's everybody plays that much harder. Um, everybody knows what you're running, you know, so you have to play that much better. You have to execute that much better. Um, you know, so yeah, any given day, that's, it's a special league with, with some special players. Um, and it's just, it's competitive. It's, and I think that's why the, the, the kids want to come and play in this type of, of league. It's every night um, you got to give your best. And that's why, you know, after today's game and you tell the guys after the, after the game, it's like you, you – you can't get a better feeling, and whatever that feeling is, you can't really describe it. Right. But when you give everything you've got, and you come out on top, there's there's not a better feeling in the world.